Tonight, an exclusive chat with Giorgio Armani, the designer behind Italy's Olympic uniform for Tokyo 2020. Giorgio, can I start by asking you, what the fuck were you thinking? Look, yes, I have received some good reviews and some bad reviews, but you need to understand, I'm a very, very busy man, okay? And the budget for this was very small, very small, how you say, was a shoestring budget, not lots of money. Giorgio Armani, you are one of the world's most famous fashion designers. Can you tell us about the inspiration behind this particular design? I wanted to combine the Italian flag with uh, the Japanese circle. And I think to myself, let's put the circle here, right here in the center of the stomach, because it's a gesture, it's a reflection of how good the Japanese food is when it's come to your mouth and it's land here. Right. And what materials did you use uh, to create Italy's Olympic uniform? <laughs> you would not believe. I went to my wardrobe eh, and I found some of my nonni's pyjamas from 1912. 1912, you think for yourself, 1912, how long that was. All I had to do was put in the washing machine for 30 minutes just to give it nice and clean and then I can stretch iron and cut up for the circle and the Italian flag. Brilliant. Giorgio, the public want to know how long you spent on this particular design. Well, with all of my experience now, uh, all of these years in the fashion and design business, I created the Italian Olympic uniform in just six minutes. Oh, yes. And I had time for a cafe at the three minute mark, too. Now, what do you have to say to the people that are criticizing your design? And with respect, Giorgio Armani, there is quite a few. Well, with respect, with respect, okay, I would say to them, until you are a very famous, rich fashion designer like myself, you cannot speak, okay? Vaffanculo to you because you cannot speak. When you become rich and famous designer like me, then I listen to you. Well, yes, Mr. Armani, but we are entitled to our opinions as well. And if we went by that logic, you could use that for anything in life. For example, if you didn't like a film, uh, people could say that you were not allowed to express that because you were not a film director. Giorgio, what about one of these comments that says that you are actually taking the piss with this uniform and what you've done is actually put a whole pizza on the Olympic uniform for Italia? No, 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 that is ridiculous, okay? If you look very carefully with your own eyeballs, you will see it's not a whole pizza. There is a slice of the pizza that is missing. That is where, that is where the intelligence of the design come from. You think it's a pizza, but no, I take out one slice. Your Olympic uniform has made the top 10 worst dressed uniforms for Tokyo 2020. How does that make you feel? Well, what can I say? A top 10 for anything in life is a great achievement. I, uh, top 10, I feel very honored, very, very honored for that. Some of the other things that people are claiming that the uniform looks like, Giorgio, include uh, Pac-Man, Teletubbies, Clowns, Minties, Lollies, Gelati, Watermelon, a pie chart, and lastly, some people are claiming, Giorgio, that you made them look all pregnant. The pregnant one? No. Never. But all the other ones? Yes. <laughs> but I am a Giorgio Armani! I can do whatever I like! <laughs>